We've just arrived at the Malcha Mall in Jerusalem. I think it's Jerusalem's biggest indoor shopping center. And the reason we've done that is it's a nice secure parking place and we're gonna grab a taxi here to the uh, checkpoint 300 to the Palestinian territories, otherwise known as the West Bank. Yeah. Uh, we tried to park the other day, but it just felt a little bit insecure. Yeah, so. it wasn't as safe as we would like to leave a higher car. So we decided to do it this way, as well as a lot of people recommended this way. Um, yeah. So once we, step one is getting a taxi from here to checkpoint 300, then we'll walk across the border and get a checkpoint on the other side to Bethlehem. That's the okay. plan. Yeah. It's also about, I think, a five minute drive from here, so it's not gonna be an expensive taxi. So it's a good choice. It is. And you can always find your way back to the biggest shopping center in Jerusalem. Obviously, it's been happening. There's plenty of taxis waiting outside. Yeah. There's a lot there. I give you good price, because if you go to Bethlehem, yes. one ride 40 and come back 40, yes. okay, 80. Yes. You, go another, you go to Bet Sahur, to the Chabad Feet and, and uh, Milk Grotto. Yes. Uh, need another taxi. I yes. take you three church, okay? Uh, uh, church of Nativity, where the Jesus is born, and I take you to the Milk Grotto, where the, uh, uh, Mariam give uh, Jesus uh, milk, and where uh, uh, Chabad Feet, okay? Yes. This is three holy church. After that, when we back, I take you to the separation wall, and I take you to the two Grafita Banksy. Grafita. Yep. Banksy. Uh, yeah. I take you to the World of Hotel. Five places I take you. Oh, six. Six places. Yes. Okay. All this trip, 200 shekels. Go and take. Okay. Okay. 200 for everything? 200 for everything. What, oh, is, what is your name? What is your name? My name is Iyad. 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 Yeah, Iyad. Yeah. Yeah. Sean and Emily. Sean and Emily. Sean, Emily, you? Yes. Sean. Yes. You're welcome. Yes. This is my business Thank card. you. How long until the first stop? Five minutes. Five minutes. Yeah. Now this will start in Bet Sahur. Bet Sahur. Bet Sahur. But upside traffic, some traffic. Ah, uh, yes. I come from here. <laughs> you know all the local tips. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you live in Bethlehem? Yeah, of Be course. In Bethlehem? Yeah, yeah. One kilometer from here. Ah, One cool. and a half kilometer, yeah. Bethlehem, very nice. Nice city. This time, Christmas time, nice. Your first time here? Yes. yes. Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thick. Okay, that was that was an interesting experience. That was a baptism of fire, so to speak. Whew. <laughs> um, I just kind of ran. Emily just right, ran I away and had to keep up with it. Basically, as soon as you cross the border, you will get pounced on by literally about 20 people trying yeah. to get your business for a tour. The taxi mafia. Basically the taxi. It's unavoidable. You're like a target audience, so they have the monopoly on you. Yeah. Uh, we basically kept walking. Just keep going, um, keep going. We keep didn't your head want down. a tour at first. Uh, tours were being offered for 300 shekels. Which, which is, is extortionate. Which is, yeah, it's fairly expensive. But we just wanted to go to Bethlehem. Yeah. And in the end, one taxi driver said um, for 40 shekels, he would take us straight to Bethlehem. And we were just like, okay, let's just go yeah. get it. And then <laughs> in the car, he upsold us. Then, yeah, he did a good upsell. Uh, 200 shekels, about 50 euros. And he's going to take us around all the sites to Bethlehem and back to the And border it means again. we don't have to negotiate another taxi in in Bethlehem exactly, back and yeah. it just kind of makes things easier as well as it's good for the economy here in the Palestinian yeah, you, territories. You, yeah, you don't can't blame them you for offering a service. Yeah, you wouldn't begrudgingly pay 50 euro for a meal yeah. anywhere, so you might as well. If he's any good, we'll leave his details. In so the bottom. He says you can WhatsApp him and he'll wait for you on the other side of the board, which is nice. Yeah. So. But here he's brought us first to the Shepherd's Field and to the Shepherd's Field Church, I think. So we're gonna have a look around here and he's just waiting for us outside, which is he very is. nice. Nice guy. <laughs> My heart is proper racing. <laughs> yeah, you were not happy. I was like, this uh, thing <laughs> running through. Yeah, we were just talking about when you get into these taxis in, as a, as a country we don't know much about. And you don't really and know where you're And we've heard lots going. of things as well. And they start taking back routes to avoid traffic. You feel like you're being whisked off somewhere. Oh man. And he, especially because he was like, oh, I'll take you to these churches a bit further out. And I'm like, oh like, my goodness. No, no, no. <laughs> I've got no internet access. I have no idea where we're going. But my tip, I always crack the window whenever I get in a taxi like that much. Yeah. So that they can hear you and you do have like, it's the window's weaker. Oh, so, so you can break out. Yeah, just in case. That's, that's what M's, I do. M's taxi breakout tip of the day, though. <laughs> 
<laughs> right, let's go see where our mate is. He's waiting for us. Oh, there's a good viewpoint down here. Let's go just check right. out the viewpoint. Right, let's see if our taxi guy is waiting for us and we go to our next destination. Don't actually know where we're going next. He's taking us a little yeah. tour. He did I'm say trusting him, yeah. yeah. He did say we're going to see the Bankskis at some point. So yeah. let's see. Yeah, 30 yeah. at the end. There he is. There's our guy. Me to get in. You get in first, sir? Yeah. Not me. Oh, okay, you can go. Thank you. Thank you. We just pulled into a random petrol station. We yeah. didn't quite know what was going on. And here it is, it's one of the Banskis. Mm. It's in great condition, it's one of the original ones. It's so much bigger than I thought it was gonna be. It is, isn't it? It's really big. Hi, how Hi. are you? Good, thank you, how are Welcome. you, sir? Welcome. Thank you. That's them. We would have never found this bank seat without a tour. There's no way you would even think it would be in this location. It's incredible here. Mm -hmm. settlement, this. Ah, this is uh, yeah, yeah, this is before 20 years only. Wow. Ah, uh, yeah, Abu Ghnem, this one. This is our land, my grandfather land, this. Yeah. yeah, and now now it's an Israeli yeah, settlement. Yeah, take him, Israel soldier, yeah. and build this building before uh. 20 years only, this. No, yeah. fixed, see, problem, see, huh? Yeah. See, problem, yeah. Right, we are in Bethlehem now. This is the first stop on our little whirlwind tour. It's going to last about an hour or two. <laughs> but yeah, we're at the Church of Nativity. And I think you enter through that door, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I think this is the entrance. It looks very small. It might be all right for you, Em, but um, I might okay, have to I crouch see how it down is, a little bit here. What is it inside? No, no, even you have to duck. Now you know what my life feels like. <laughs> This is the manger. Not this way? Yeah. Down here. Excuse me. Okay, we are leaving the uh Church of Nativity. Oh, wow. If you look behind me, there's a gigantic line and we just walked straight through, didn't we? Yeah, and then I really don't <laughs> recommend you do it do a tour so to say yeah it's very yes. restrictive if you get a tour the taxi driver is, with it is our mate here yeah this is bethlehem central square we've just got another 10-15 minutes to wander around yeah just have a look might get grab some juice but it's very hectic here super yeah, busy it is really chaotic here there's taxis everywhere tourists oh, everywhere. Dog tourists. <laughs> oh wow look at the street but the street's very really beautiful Thank <laughs> you. 
Let's just. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, thank you. We're okay. Thank you. So our taxi driver was telling us that a lot of the souvenir shops, obviously most of them, a lot of them are also not, but he knows of the souvenir shops where things are actually made here in, in Palestine because yes. they don't import them. They think it must be a little bit more difficult to get things imported here. Oh, oh wow, wow, these steps here. Our Bethlehem is a lot better reserved than Nazareth as we went to. Yes, definitely. This is more what we expected. Yeah. But it's also got like a unique charm to it that I've not experienced before. I'm guessing that's from the Palestinian culture. Yeah, it definitely feels different. We've had about half an hour to an hour boarding yeah. around Bethlehem. Plenty going on here, lots of people selling stuff, making stuff, cooking yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's nice to see uh, traditional crafts still being made here. It's really cool. Yeah, we'll lots, of, lots of nice smells of spices in the city as well, I think, being freshly made. But we're going to try and find our taxi driver. I don't know how hard that's going to be. <laughs> and then you. head to Milk of the Grotto, which is next stop on our Whistletop Palestine tour. <laughs> Well, that's a sponge you've been after him. Yeah. <laughs> you pay a fortune for that. <laughs> Not black lava there as well. Oh, I know. Palm it smells garlic. so good. It's such a cool place. <sighs> right, we're back in wow, the town the main square, square now. We head this way. Which way are you going here? Just cut in, I think. Cut in. Um, camp. How many tourists did he say came here over Christmas? Like half, half a million. Half a million tourists here. He so, said majority American. Yep. Um, and also and China, European, so, as well, yeah. Japanese, Japanese as well as popular. You can see why. Yeah, he's a really interesting place. Right, let's find our taxi guy. Like he's parked up here. He's probably getting a lot of grief for parking yeah, when he does. Yeah, have a look this he way. He doesn't seem to mind though. <laughs> he said in the taxi, he was like, rules in Palestine, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the last stop of today. Was this the Milky Grotto, Em? Yes. This is the last one. I think this is just the shrine to Mary. Oh, okay. Little tip that M found before we arrived here. There's a place here called the Bethlehem Panorama. It's just next to the Milky Church. Yeah, it's an olive wood factory and gift shop. And I think you can either pay a small fee or you can buy something and they'll let you up. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> it's up there, isn't it? It's just this one. You can see here the factory, here is the shop. Oh, can go upstairs the top, top, top. Thank you. Wow. 
Look at the, the desert in the back. Oh, wow, yeah. Look at that! Yes! <laughs> Before we came to Bethlehem, I did a lot of research online and I read a lot of books and a lot of blogs and I found this place as we showed you when we were coming in and it's been totally worth it. It Absolutely has spectacular view. Yeah. an incredible view of Bethlehem and it's literally the guys downstairs were really nice. They welcomed us in. They said, no charge, no charge. And we've come up and had a look, but we're gonna, we're gonna have a look around their shop now oh, anyway. Yeah. It's their actual factory as well. You can, they're actually making the stuff there. So you can't have any more proof than that. No, so we're gonna head back in the car now. I think we're gonna go see one more bank see. Yeah. And then we'll be leaving the West Bank That's or right, yeah. leaving Palestine. All right, they've let us have a little look around the workshop here is where they produce all the souvenirs from the olive wood. We saw a few whole trees up above and those are small pieces here. Got belt sander, table saw, scroll saw, everything they need here. It's really nice. It smells fantastic, the olive wood. Wow, these are the really old ones. These are great, aren't they? We are heading now to the Banksy, I think. We've seen one. I think there's two more. Two more? Oh, yeah. There there is a Banksy hotel somewhere. Yeah. But, uh, I don't yeah. know where that is. But we'll leave it up to our guide. Yes. <laughs> We're in total control of our guide, but we'll be, um, we don't want to be too late getting back, so we're riding to Tel Aviv as well. Tonight. Yeah, we need to drop the car off tonight so we can have a more relaxing day tomorrow in Tel Aviv. It'd be nice to have a bit of slow paced day for a change. Slow paced? <laughs> a slow pace. Oh, I must have something organised for tomorrow. Faster, faster. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, behind me is the extremely famous and iconic Banksy of the dog. Wow. Again, somewhere we would never have found without having a guide here. Yeah, you can't really walk between these locations, so yeah. This is the right choice to get this guy to take us around. Yeah. He's a nice guy as well. And just behind us in this direction as well is the separation wall between Palestine and Israel. I think he's going to take us a little bit closer next. He said so, yeah. So we are just by the separation wall which separates Palestine and Israel. It is a solemn, sobering place. Um, Such an imposing structure that's just very been oppressive. put up here to keep the people separated. It's, 
there's not really much to say. I think the best we can all do is, is learn about the situation and there's lots of good um, documentaries online and we'll put some links below to, um, to articles and stuff that really explain the situation better than we ever could. But, um, the side of the wall is all of the artwork that's been put up here. It's, yeah, it's really poignant. Just going to have a little walk around it, read some of the, the messages. And then that'll probably conclude our time here for today in Palestine. Yeah. Banks are working, two engine banks are working. Yes, okay. Uh, two, two engine in Vatican, no hand. Banks are working. Banks are pushing them apart. Yes, yeah. Oh, wow. Look in the hand. Yeah, I can see. Uh, My name is Emily. What is your oh, name? Isa. Isa. Isa Isa's Isa. Cafe. Yes. Ah, nice Isa to meet Wong. you. Yes. Sit down, sit down. We just finished off our tour at the Waldorf Museum there, the Waldorf Hotel Museum, I think it's yeah, called. It's, it's 20 a... shackles to get in, it's nothing. Yeah, and it's you really, nothing. really need to go in yeah, there. Yeah, it has a, a great explanation of the history and, yeah, and modern day history up until today as well. There's an um, artist collection there. With... Yeah, there's some beautiful artwork from all local Palestinian artists, and you can buy them, you can even buy the posters of it. So. It's, it's a really great place to come when you come to the wall here, the separation wall, to be able to understand a little bit more. That museum gives you a great depth and insight into what's been happening here over the past pretty much 50 years. Yeah, so it's, as we leave, it gives us a lot to think about as we go back to our normal day-to-day -day yeah. life, but the people here, it's their reality. There's um, a lot to think about over the next few days. Exactly. Yeah. We're so, going to head back now. Yeah, our driver's going to take us back to checkpoint 300 and then we're going to make our way back to Tel Aviv from there. But it's been, it's been a very interesting day today and yeah, I'm really glad we came. Yeah, this was our, our guide for the day. He's doing a great job. We're going to leave his link in the description <laughs> yeah. when we're finished. Absolutely. Really so, cool. <laughs> if you're Enjoy. looking for a good guide that's going yeah, to take you around, <laughs> show all the other sides, this is the one. All right. <laughs> Enjoy. Very busy time. Very busy time with traffic. Yeah. Nice time.
everything. Everything busy, everything rushed. <laughs> like everywhere. Yeah. Maybe 20,000 people work in Israel from this wow. checkpoint. Yeah. Wow. More than 20,000. Goodness, man. Yeah, only from this checkpoint. Have so maybe uh, many checkpoints. Yeah. In Bethlehem, I have three. Three. Okay. Yeah. This is uh, named 300. Checkpoint 300. Checkpoint 300. Thank you. Thank, so you. Thank you. Have a good night yeah, with your yeah. family. Yeah. Bye bye. And uh, yeah, Thank you so much. Thank I you. hope to meet you again sometime. Yeah, yeah. Inshallah. We'll Take care, my friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye bye. Come back again, okay? Yes. Bye. Thank you, man. Bye bye. It's okay, I'm. They're just coming home from work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're just heading back to the checkpoint 300. Right. Extra busy here because apparently everyone is returning back from work. So it's, uh, yeah, this is a bad time to come into Palestine if you're visiting. So best to come before like five o'clock, <laughs> otherwise you're going to get caught in a big wave of people. I'm be off now. Yeah, just entering the checkpoint again to go back through to the other side. I think we need our passports here. Passport check, is yeah. it this side now? Yeah. Okay, just going to turn that off then. Okay, we've crossed back into Israel. Yeah, relatively easy. Yep, just a quick show of your passport, no major checks really. Yeah. There's, um, when you go through to the Palestinian side, there's actually no checks whatsoever no. on your passport. You do go straight in. Just be sure to take the, well, it's the exit. When you're coming from Jerusalem into Palestine, you need to go in the, the line that's labeled exit. That's exiting Israel. Yeah, that's it. I yeah, think. we got a bit confused when we came here with the one, the one that says entrance, which is Wait, not the one. Is where people come out. So it's a bit, bit reverse, but that's yeah. maybe our mistake. <laughs> so we're gonna grab a taxi and maybe we'll give you a full debrief in the car because it's a mania here. It's yeah, super loud. It's really chaotic. There's like literally thousands of people finish their day at work and returning home. Yeah, it's like London, Houston of Israel. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, let's see if we can find a taxi. My name is Emily. Amal? Emily. Emily, it yes? means, you know what it means? No, I don't. Hobby. Hobby. Hobby, you're my hobby. <laughs> <laughs> really? Really. And she's very nice. It's <laughs> not a, it's a good hobby. You're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> High five on that one. <laughs> oh, I'm getting red. <laughs> close the window because yeah. my wife don't listen. <laughs> We didn't get a chance yesterday to go through some of the details of our visit to the West Bank and to Palestine. So just wanted to quickly jump on here and give you a few of the facts from yesterday. Um, as we mentioned, we did try two or three days ago to visit the West we Bank. We had two attempts. <laughs> yeah, we drove the hire car right up to the checkpoint 300, which is the best checkpoint, I think, if you want to go across as a foot passenger. Um, there's no official park place there, so the only place that people were parking was kind of on this little gravel embankment. So we, we went there, but there was people unofficially manning that it's bit kind of, of area. car ground. Um, they wanted 300 shekels to park the car there and for a taxi to Bethlehem on the other side, which is rather steep. I think it's about 90 euros. Yeah, and you also don't know because they can't cross into Palestine if there is going to be anybody waiting for you on the other side. So yeah, it's more it like hand like, over the cash, go through. 
and there's yeah. nothing more you can do. Anyway, maybe it was okay, but it just felt a little bit wrong and was a little bit expensive for what we'd heard and already seen. So we decided to leave. Also, we had our bags in the car and we didn't really want to leave the car out in the middle of nowhere. It felt a little bit vulnerable in that. Yeah, it, did, it didn't feel right and our guts didn't say it was right. So we decided to come back in a few days after doing a few more, bit more yeah. research. Which is what we did. So when we were coming back from the desert, we had a bit of time. Um, we had the afternoon free, so we decided to try again. But this time we parked at a nearby shopping center called the Malcha Mall. It's about five kilometers, I think, from the border. Yeah, it's really close. It's a five minute um, taxi drive there. And there's plenty of taxis waiting at the mall as well. So it's really not a problem. I think the taxi cost us about, it was about eight euros, I think. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't expensive. It wasn't expensive. It was 30, 40 Th shekels. Yeah, 30, 40 shekels. Yeah, 30, 40 shekels will get you a taxi from the mall to the checkpoint 300, which is what we did. And then we knew the car was parked safely with our bags inside, so we didn't have to worry about that. Plus it's an easy destination to get back to. Everybody yeah. knows where that is. Yeah. So that's what we did. We took the taxi, he dropped us off at the checkpoint, and we simply walked through. Yeah, so there's two entrances. One says enter, one says exit. Um, you need to exit Israel. We kind of went with, as we thought maybe yeah, we, we went, we went into enter the, Palestine, the entrance, but it was But you need to around. exit. So you go through four or five turnstiles, um, and that's it. And then you, you're literally walking down a ramp and you'll see a sea of taxi drivers. Yeah. I call them the taxi mafia. Yeah, we, we actually thought that we'd missed a checkpoint yeah. or something because there's literally nobody. When you exit Israel into Palestine, there's, no there's actually no checkpoint. So you, you are straight through the turnstiles and then you're out into the taxi mafia. Yeah. Where you will literally get swamped by I was about like ten or fifteen yeah. people trying to trying to get you they into their cabs. They all kind of come around you. Um, they're not. You're not in danger. They just want to sell you their tour or their taxi ride, but they are a lot of them are offering it at an extortionate rate. Yeah, your your first offers are going to be around about three, three four hundred, four hundred shekels, which is. Yeah, 100, for 120 a, euros. Yeah, for a 10 minute, even not even 10 minute ride to Bethlehem. Yeah. So we kept walking because I'd read uh, another blog from somebody saying, just keep going. The further you get away, the cheaper the price will go, yeah. which is what we did. We did, yeah. The, the first guy that actually offered us a tour. Um, yeah. he, 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 he wanted came. to take us to the three churches, Church of Nativity and around a couple of other areas. He was even offering to take us to Jericho. We just wanted to go to Bethlehem, really. Yeah. For the um, basic tour, he was basic. offering at 300 shekels. Which I guess when you think about it isn't actually so bad. It's around about eight, what's it, about 85. 80, 85 um, euros, that, which isn't too bad for, for where they were going to take us. But I think just the fact that we were swamped by so yeah. many people, we just wanted to walk away, yeah. um, which we did. Yeah. And then eventually one guy said that he'll take us straight to Bethlehem for 40 shekels, um, just one way in the taxi. Which at that point, we just yeah. wanted to jump in a car and get away from it. It was so overwhelming. And we're, we're experienced travellers at this, and it was still overwhelming for yeah, us exactly, in this situation. Yeah. So we just wanted to get out of it. And the guy seemed really friendly and trustworthy, and you instantly had kind yeah, of a exactly. connection with him. So we got in his taxi, yep. and he drove us to Bethlehem, or to the first yep. destination. And he upsold us in the car. <laughs> he did good. He did He's good, a yeah. very good businessman, um, and sold us an entire like three-hour pretty much tour told us we'd never be um, like rushed in any of the places, we'd take as many pictures no. as we want, and he would take us to the Banksy's, which was the most important thing yeah, for us exactly. to see, um, and that was 200 shekels. Which is about 50 euros. 50 euros. Which is really, really good. Really reasonable. So we went with him, and yeah, he took us to he took us to the Banksy's ba location. Both Banksy's, he took us to the Waldorf Hotel, which you have to see when you um, go into Palestine. It's a really great museum, they're just finishing it off. Um, and he took us, yeah, both Banksy's and to Bethlehem, Church of Nativity, everywhere that we wanted, well. everywhere we wanted yeah. to go. Um, and then he dropped us right back at the wall. We actually saw a few other tourists trying to haggle taxis to get back from mm -hmm. Bethlehem. And it looked like they were having a nightmare of a time trying to yeah. find a taxi to take. So I, I think I think by the time you would get a taxi there and back and trying to get to the locations, you, you do actually need to go with somebody. And they're not charging a lot, to be honest, for yeah. the service that they offer. Yeah, and it will save you a lot of hassle yeah. in, in the money. <laughs> yeah. The yeah, only really funny thing that we felt is when we got in the car, um, it actually went like a back route to some of the yeah. locations because the traffic was really bad. Yeah. Um, at times it felt like we were being whisked away, but it yeah. was, was perfectly fine. It took end. us down a few gravel <laughs> tracks. Obviously they're locals, they know the back routes like you would know in your own hometown. Obviously for us, it's a little bit disconcerting, but 
the guy was great, told us all of the local knowledge and local history and took talked to us about his opinions and his feelings in Palestine, which was a lovely experience in itself. So I think we would both recommend that yeah. you can do a tour that you get from Tel Aviv or you get from Jerusalem, but you're not going to get the time. We saw tour exactly. buses pulling up in Bethlehem. They were rushed through um, in huge 50 people groups like you get at, at a tour. Yeah. They were always and, yeah. queuing <laughs> and, and tours are coming up more expensive anyway yeah so, yeah but you we want to do, want to show this because you can do it alone you yep. don't need a tour you can park your car in a nearby place get a taxi walk over the border speak to some of the palestinian taxi drivers and get the tour that's right for you at the right price for you and go and experience palestine because it was an awesome experience it really was really good yeah and the only other thing is that if the timing, just if yeah. you're leaving Palestine around about four, four o'clock, five o'clock, you're going to have to expect a big surge of people because like literally thousands of people will work in Israel and then they come and cross the border around about four o'clock, five o'clock. And there's literally thousands of them walking down that one street. So if you're trying to get back up to the checkpoint, you're, you're going to have to weave your way through the people. But yeah. it's it, a bit intimidating, but it's fine. The yeah. people are really friendly. Yeah, the people are friendly, but it... It's an overwhelming crowd of people and you're trying to go in the opposite direction. You're literally going against the grain, yeah. trying to get through people and it's very trafficy at that time. So either stay a little bit later, have dinner in Palestine or um, leave a bit earlier around three o'clock. They're kind of your best options, I'd yeah, say. Exactly. Um, and when you get out, when, you, when you're leaving Palestine and you're entering Israel again, you go through the same kind of system where there's lots of turnstiles walking through and then you reach a like airport style scanner. Put yep. your bag in, normal, walk through that, and then there's, um, there's a quick passport quick control. Passport and control. also your little permit that you get when you enter Israel, your yeah, little you piece have of paper, to bring this. make sure you keep that safe as well. And yep, and then you're straight through yeah. back, and you can usually get there's, a taxi back. Yeah, there's well. a bus stop as well outside if you wanted to get the bus yep. back into Jerusalem, or if you want to jump in a taxi, there's loads of ta taxi drivers there. Just before we got in, we said, how much to the Malcolm Wall? They said 40, I said, no, 30, and he said, okay, get in. <laughs> so maybe a little bit of haggling, yeah. you can get it a little I cheaper, mean, but it's not, it's not worth yeah. it. I mean, the people aren't exactly ripping you off by no. hundreds. You might have paid an extra two or three euros or something. So it's not, it's not it's nothing not to worry world. about. Just but, be aware. Yeah. But generally speaking, it was a relatively straightforward experience. It was a lot easier than we expected. Yeah. And yeah. And it was a highlight of our, of our time here for us both. It has a different feel in Bethlehem to it. The rest of Israel, you can tell that it's Palestine and it's a beautiful place to visit. Um, and we definitely would have regretted not going and having the experience. Yeah, exactly, yeah. There. And if you have more time, they do offer to take you a little bit further. You can go and see like the walls of Jericho. Yeah, and, and the Jordan, Jordan River. River as well. So you've got plenty of options. Um, yeah. So we, we say that it's, it was a good experience. It was a great experience. And we experience. recommend that you can easily do it on your own. You don't need to go with the tour. But if you do feel safer, then take a tour group by all means and you'll still get to see most things.